Stephen hasn't been able to get into this jumper since the 1980s, but in the last 18 months, he's lost 85 pounds while going to a slimming club. Being part of a group that understood my problems and being able to talk to them about it was a, a real godsend. You know, um, being able to bounce ideas off people and, and likewise people bouncing ideas off me and going on a constant basis. The latest figures show that over a quarter of the male population is obese, but they aren't as good at seeking help. So far this year, just 264 men have been referred for weight loss services in Oxfordshire, compared to over a 1,000 women. And it's expensive. Two years ago, the council was spending £2,697 a month on weight loss vouchers for services like Slimming World and Weight Watchers. Now it's triple that. What is so daunting is that there are um, really a whole number of women who use these clubs and that kind of frightens men off some. But it, it does work. It's the kind of uh, togetherness that you find in these clubs that actually helps people help each other lose their weight. Oxfordshire County Council says its services aren't targeted at men or women in particular, but that women are better at seeking help with a doctor. However, some GPs believe that the current options are too tailored towards women. There is a reluctance, perhaps, for, for men to engage in the services that we do offer at the moment, particularly on the, on the weight loss clubs. For um, and I think studies need to be done on, on, on what it is that men, uh, overweight men, would like to see and how they feel they could be supported in losing weight. For Stephen, weight loss clubs are working. But for many men, struggling with obesity is still a daily battle. Charlotte Stacey, BBC South Today.